You probably know that no two people have the same fingerprints, but did you also know that there are other parts of your body that are just as uniquely your own, such as your retina patterns or combination of facial features? It's all part of the growing science known as biometrics, and it's changing the way we think about security and protecting identities. Biometrics are physical and behavioral characteristics which are unique for every person. We are familiar with different kinds of biometrics like fingerprint, face, eye retina, handprints. There are other kinds of uh, biometrics which are unique for every person and these are behavioral. We learn them over time uh, like how we walk and even like how we type on the keyboard. All of these uh, different features can be extracted to uniquely represent a person uh, in any electronic transactions. Many systems authenticate you based on something you know, a password or perhaps answers to challenge questions. Biometrics perform verification based on something you are. My voice is very special and unique. Your unique biological features. And one of the simplest to use and uniquely identifiable biometrics is your voice. Well, the problem that we would like to solve is to be able to recognize a person by the sound of his or her voice and we would like to be able to do that reliably using an automatic technology. So what we're doing is speaker recognition rather than speech recognition. We're interested in determining who is speaking rather than what they are saying. The challenge with biometric authentication is the capture device. For fingerprint biometrics you need a fingerprint scanner. For iris biometrics, you need a specialized camera. For voice biometrics, you need a microphone. Our telephones, our smartphones, our laptops, and our tablets are all equipped with microphones. So conveniently, that makes biometrics a natural choice for remote and mobile authentication. Businesses, government agencies, and all sorts of organizations are seeing the many advantages of securing customer interactions via voice authentication. Proof of life for pensioners is always a big problem. They have to leave their house, they have to go to the pension fund every now and then and show up their face and prove that they are still alive to get their pension. In our case, that would be as easy as enrolling uh, onto the system, picking up the phone every month, just calling our technology, our, our applications for a few seconds and after the proof, getting their pensions from any pickup points. People are growing more concerned about identity theft and fraud, and rightfully so. Voice biometrics is a game changer. Université de Montréal. When a person's unique vocal characteristics are a part of the authentication process, it becomes extremely difficult to defeat. Well, this is a problem that government security agencies have a long-standing interest in. You may remember how after 9-11, recordings of Osama bin Laden began to surface and there was a lot of confusion as to whether these were authentic or not. So you can imagine that government security agencies would be very keen to have a technology that could settle that sort of question reliably. The major technological challenge is to determine whether two different recordings involve the same speaker. Recording conditions will inevitably have changed from one recording to another. You might have a landline telephone in one case and a cellular phone in the other. Somehow the human ear is capable of filtering out this nuisance variability. How the ear does this is very mysterious and it's not something that we as engineers have really gained any insight into. In the past decade, collaboration between labs internationally has resulted in advancements that have decreased error rates by 400 to 500 percent. Speaker recognition gives consumers additional peace of mind that their identity, personal information, and assets are protected. Today, we can recognize people independent of their language. Uh, I can say anything and this technology can still verify me. I can use different devices, smartphones, feature phones, uh, high quality, normal phones. I can use a good quality network. I can even have some cold my nose might be a little bit blocked, still the technology is robust enough to recognize who is the speaker. So a lot of improvements in the mathematical signal processing is helping recognize different kind of users with different kind of backgrounds, with different kind of channels, and with different kind of use cases. So with time, we are going to see more and more normal use of this technology for real life applications for people like you and I.